Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. When I was younger, I had to do many household chores. Cutting the grass, picking weeds, you name it. But the chores was not the worst part. The worst part was having my mom or dad leaning over my shoulder watching me what I was doing. Now some of you might be chuckling because if you're a child or a kid doing these household chores, you can understand where I'm coming from. And if you're a parent, you might be chuckling inside because that used to happen to you and now, in turn, you are looking over your children's shoulders. You miss the spot. Don't forget to do the back. And your kids are exhausted and just want you to leave them alone so that they could do their chores. Because if a child is in the kitchen cleaning a pot, and they feel like they've been cleaning it all day long. They dry it, they wash it, they dry it, it's there, and mom comes along and says, do it again. But I've been doing it all day. This is the response of the apostles and disciples of Christ in today's gospel reading. The apostles have been gone out fishing all night long. They had caught nothing and they were even cleaning their nets in preparation to leave and go home. But Christ got in the boat and said, do it again. The apostles were tired. But Christ said, do it again. And they went out and they caught fish. If this is so similar to our lives that we do our everyday activities, whether it be school or work, whatever it may be, our parents have instilled in us a work ethic that we must do it well, that we must do everything that we do to do with 100% effort so that the grass is cut nicely, all the pots and plants are clean and sparkly. And when we do things in our spiritual lives, we must take this same attitude. But even in everything that we do, we must involve Christ. Because if we don't involve God, if we don't involve Christ in our work, in our school, then there's something missing. Then our nets are empty. And even though we are tired, and even though involving Christ in our lives takes effort to say our prayers before bed, before we eat, to bring our children to work, excuse me, to bring our children to church, even though we've had a long work week and soccer games all day on Saturday, it's exhausting. And it's tiring. And God is looking over our shoulder, telling us to do it again. I know you're tired. I know you're trying your best. But go out again. But take me with you. He is asking all of us in our struggles and in our fatigue to involve him in our lives. Because just like the apostles and the disciples went out and they encountered a new problem, not that they didn't have any fish in their nets, but they had so many that their boats began to sink. And so too will be the outcome of our lives. If we involve Christ, we will not be able to comprehend the blessings that will be given to us by God when even though we are tired and sick and possibly even annoyed with God, 
that he is overlooking our shoulder and telling us to do things, when we involve him, the blessings are abundant. That our lives will be overfilled with his love, and that our lives will be overfilled with the joy that we feel when we give direction and guidance to our children. That same joy is felt as God, our loving Heavenly Father and parent, directs us to do what is right, to do things with Him, so that when we go out into our daily activities and chores and tasks, we invite Him with us so that our spiritual nets are not empty, but rather the blessings and gifts that are given to us by God are in abundance because we have called upon Christ and involved Him into our lives. Amen.